The future is coming. Make it brighter with Squarespace. I'll say. Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a unique website. It is a future. Showcase your work, blog, or publish content, or even sell products and services of all do kinds more, in just a few clicks. Do even more than that. You can customize everything from look and feel to settings and products using beautiful templates created by world-class designers. Gorgeous. And beautiful. there's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. And now do you want to talk about yeah. the yeah. thing that you did? Well, so what they're asking you to do on this thing, so head to squarespace.com for a free trial. So I'm like, okay, do do that. But do this, okay? So go to squarespace.com. But I'm going to give you – there's going to be a lot of backslashes, so get a pen. They Okay. So, Sean, uh, use Squarespace to design Squarespace.com previously mm-hmm. and, and to steal their own website their for a lunch. Minute. And so they were – people were being redirected to Sean's – Seanspace.com, mm-hmm. which, which which Squarespace.com would redirect you to. Mm-hmm. And so he was stealing all of their traffic. And that got either shut down by them. It was seized. Yes. Uh, yes. And that was a flaw in the design. Yeah. And so I've managed to get even <laughs> deeper inside Squarespace headquarters. So it's going to be hard for them to find it, but you will be able to make your way there. So it's squarespace.com slash secret slash clemdog slash maze slash labyrinth slash minotaur slash riddle slash secret slash hint slash clemdog slash Sean slash squarespace.com slash even better one. Slash mine, not theirs. Slash try hacking this Squarespace. Slash you won't have a whole lot of luck. Slash because I friggin' did a code on it. Slash Clem Dog. Slash hint. Slash Minotaur. So, and for the normal one, if you go to squarespace.com, use offer code the boys to save 10%. But you have a secret. Offer code that they mm-hmm. won't be able to find. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my offer code is Clemdog Minotaur. <laughs> so it was me and uh, Vince Carthizer. No, it wasn't. And we're <laughs> just let me do the. No, it wasn't. Can we take? Okay, I, we have to take it one more what? time. Stop! Stop the song. What? Last time you said no. This is like the third take, uh-huh. and every time you say no, it wasn't. Uh-huh. That ruins the idea. What? It ruins it. It ruins it. Well, hey. And every time you promise and you say you won't say no, it wasn't. Well, and this I time won't you do can't. it this time, okay, I good. swear. Okay, good. Sam, ready? I'm sorry to keep making you do this, Sam. He doesn't mind. It was me and Vince Carthizer. No, it wasn't. Oh, turn it off. What? I would never do that to you. The reason that this show works is that I'm an incorrigible scamp. No. And that is what makes the dynamic work. And you are sort of a professorial. Obviously, I know that. I know you're incorrigible. But usually, I still still get to tell my stories. Daddy. Yes. You get to draw the boundaries. Yes, hands off. With well, that. I think that this is adding an element of danger then for the audience where they don't know where I'm going to pop up and do my nasty business. So I think to but what about your me? story, now it's what about for you, Hayes? I mean, if the audience is having a good time, that's good for you. But if I'm not having a good time, then the audience isn't having a good time. And if I'm in danger, then I'm not having a good time. Okay, well, tell the story. It's you and Vincent Carthizer. Yes, and we were freezing our heads before our ice skating routine because... No, you weren't. So... (laughs) We're freezing our heads, our hair... So that it wouldn't freeze while we were out there. So it would be pre-frozen. But I, like, dozed off while I was, had my head in the water. No, you didn't. And it froze, the whole thing, all the water froze around my head. I pull my head out, and there's a big ice on my head. 
the other skaters see it. And they say, like, oh, a big head. ice. I should skate on They're that. Gonna skate on your head. It, okay. It's one thing to say that it didn't happen. It's another to say what happened right before I said it. And Just you know what I'm going to say ending. because I've done this. This is now the fourth time. So, okay. So you think that yes. I listened to the story all the way through, ruined yes. it, yes, and then stole the stinger then, from you. Yes, and then waited until I did it again uh-huh. so you could steal it. And then I get the fucking hammer. Yes. I get to drop the killer line that they skated on your head. They were skating on my head. Well, I've never been accused of such a thing, Mr. Davenport. And I... Please. I'm looking at the officials. Mm-hmm. Like, is this allowed? Like WTF. Is yeah. this allowed? Can so, like... Is can I get a ruling on? Is this allowed like, this is to do? Bull honky over here. Why you guys are letting this happen? They're spinning on, on my head. head. Spinning. Hey, welcome to Hollywood welcome Handbook to Hollywood and Insider's Guide to Kicking right? Butt and Dropping Names of the Red Carpet Linebacker Hallways of this, this industry, industry. We, we call, call showbiz. showbiz. What up? What up, Claudia? Welcome Claudia. to Claudia. Oh my god! Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It's so good to see you guys. Our old. Partner and yeah. uh, partner in friend. crime. Yes, and we used to play music together. We played music. We danced. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were craftsmen together. Mm-hmm. And Claudia, your stardom has gone from unlikely to undeniable. Undeniable. A lot of people will ask you, "How did you get here?" But I have a better question. What is it? What, what could have you stopped so you? Oh. Exactly. What possibly could have stopped you? And what took you so long? Well, the thing is, this is this is what people always say. They they're like, you just came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. But often that person, me, the overnight sensation, been the they didn't see you in the woodshed. Yeah, they didn't see me working mm-hmm. in Australia, honing my craft. Mm-hmm. What I really wanted to do is just get here and be be fully formed. Yeah, yeah. and that's what I did. I worked in Australia. Since a ch- since childhood, in anonymity, mm-hmm. like the birth, in anonymity. An incomplete anonymity, the birth of Venus. Yeah, mm. mm-hmm. 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 from the out of the head, the Venus's birth. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Yes, mm-hmm. and I mean, it's so amazing to be here with you, Sean. Oh no! Because Stop! I can't. No, please. Because we, you know, blushing. obviously, we've worked together in many scenarios, oh. but you and I, we have actually. The history, the history is, 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 is yeah. thick. It's thick. And mm-hmm. our most recent endeavor was the love. F- yes. We we acted together on love. Yeah. Wow. The show. Love. And I one when we did that scene together, I was like, I don't think we should do any more of this show. Mm. I think we've like reached Well that yes, the show had reached its zenith. And the scene, in fact, that you and I were in together mm-hmm. was of course cut. What, yes, it was cut, yes. which was a shame. So, so people will not see that. No, people will but never But I think see that. in a way, to have the rest of the show compared to that scene would have made, would have been unfavorable. Yes, because it would have been very For some imbalanced. of the bigger stars. Were you guys boyfriends, girlfriends on it? We were. Um, no, we were strangers walking by each in other. In a hallway. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That I'm, seems like a role for you. Well, I could see you crushing that. Dude. And I, I was so in it yeah. that it was almost as if I didn't know Claudia and hadn't met her when it I was, was doing true. it. Wow. It was yeah. true. I I didn't recognize you. You it's, were so transformed right. in your costume because mm-hmm. your character was cool guy in hallway. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I was like, who Bumming is this? Bumming a cigarette. Or no, yes, had yeah, a cigarette. Smoking guy. Mm-hmm. You hate having Modern names, smoker. names for your characters. I do always get into this battle where a lot of times when a casting comes across my desk, mm. it will say um, uh, John or yeah. um, uh, Darius mm. or uh, one of these names. And I'll go, can I possibly be – Chef number two, you and, or and stranger you, in hall. What you need is a location. Please, names are yes. a distraction. You 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 need to know where your character Holy. is. I'm an outside in actor. Uh, some actors mm. take their own personality and try to mold it to whatever's going on. But yeah. you're actually more versatile if you can just take the scenario. Okay, 
I'm in this hallway. All right, there are people there. Okay, I'm holding a cigarette. Okay, my costume. I've got these clothes. Jeans. Mm-hmm. Let me pull a that shirt. in. Let's yes. internalize that. Yeah. Yes. Jeans I had. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, jeans. This shirt that I've shirt got on. Was, that it had the pattern on it. Mm. And then the jacket. Yeah. Yes, normal guy in shirt. Mm. 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 But you mm. had a little swagger. And that wasn't in the script. That was you. Yes, yes. In fact, you brought that. Uh, yes, I brought that and I was asked to, you know, bring it back wherever I got it from and just do it the way they wanted. Yes. And you took that so well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I thought, this guy, he, he gets it. Mm-hmm. And he has it. And, and what I was thinking was, hey, there's Claudia. Yes, but I didn't recognize no, you because you had transformed. Mm-hmm. Is Bosch yeah. allowed to eat the bones? Yeah. It's not for chews only? This bones he can eat. Eat the whole thing? Have the bones. He's eating it. That's what it's for. So we were speaking of the woodshed, Claudia. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one thing we do on every episode of the show is we read I ate a, the bones. an episode of a script. Sam, that can we you wrote. go back and put in I ate the bones earlier? Remember that was It a seems KFC like I was campaign. kind of referencing that. Just with oh, I said almost that a, a complete thing. Well, but it's a, a sort of more of a rep of you repeating what I said. But have me say introduce it a new or, idea. Fact, have me say it instead of his. Ooh. Yeah, and I, forget all the box stuff. Just have me say I. I ate wish the Sam books. didn't have to do that. <laughs> by the law. Okay, you were getting into something, Hayes. Every episode we read a script of a movie that we wrote. Oh, wow. That's mm-hmm. every show, yeah. Amazing. Every single episode. Yeah. Sometimes, time, sometimes it makes the cut, sometimes it doesn't. This time, we're trying something a little different. Uh-huh. Which is, Sam wrote this one. Wow. Ah, congratulations, That's exciting. Samuel. Do you guys get it? Uh, we're going to find out. What? Yeah. Let's wait until we read it, and then we'll find out. Uh. And what this is, when we assign the topic, we have been looking for a surf movie. Right. So hot right All these now. surf movies. Every other are place you, guys you turn gonna around. Are you going to produce it or act in it? What are you thinking? We have produced it by asking Sam to right, write it. Right, already produced mm-hmm. it. And we will also be writing it. Wow. At the end of this process. Rewriting. At minimum, right, writing at least, our names across the top. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I see. So okay. the producing is saying, Sam, you write this. And the writing aspect is saying, we wrote I this. I wrote this. I get it. Yes. Because it wait, was really we, my no, idea. Wait, we same. wrote this. And we don't know yet. But okay, but it was we wrote it. Every, maybe. And every time you see a movie, it's surfing. And uh, we thought, yeah. we want some of that. Exactly. And who better than the person from the birthplace of surfing? Mm-hmm. Which, what place is that? London. 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 Yes. Mm-hmm. London. So, do we just read it? Do we just friggin' read it? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Great. Okay. And then, do you want to say what it's called? I know that the original title was Smash Wave. This one. Colon. What I have. Okay. <laughs> Operation Wave Smasher. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure if you were going to finish it. Uh-huh. Yes. It's Smash Wave colon Operation Wave Smasher. That was our title that we said. Colon to. operation. Yes. Yes. Right. Is that part of the story? Yes, there is a colon operation after a smash wave. Smash wave, colon operation. There's an urgent colon mm-hmm. operation. Wave smash smash wave, comma, colon <laughs> operation, comma, operation wave smash. Right. Okay. So let's play. Oh, and we have a band that's scoring the entire movie. What band? It's our favorite band, Royalty Free. Oh, Mm -hmm. wow. I Mm -hmm. love them. These guys are so hot. They're really good. And it's you also as like the Queen's friend. Yes. Saying like, what if one day we were like finally free of the Queen's rip Mm -hmm. on us. Yeah, so I'm the Queen's friend, but but I want us to be free. free And you want her to just have a normal life. Yes. It's the glare. You want to free her as well. She's in danger. Well, she's in danger, and she's also very bored and busy from being the queen. She's in a a prison, Mm -hmm. and its name is Buckethead Palace. And it's it's a glass house, Mm -hmm. the palace. Oh, please. And everyone's looking in. Mm. And that's why I want to smash the palace with the smash wave. Yes, which oh, so this and is that'll an come into it a yeah. little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why we chose this band. 
So, okay. So we'll play some just the music that's listed on the script. Thank Sam you. has music cues. No, we won't. <sighs> Sean, <laughs> I don't you know. are not for the script. I'm we we can't. We never mind. do it on the script. Okay, well, I hope it's that too dangerous. Change. It's too crazy. It's too crazy to say no. It won't. It's funny then. <sighs> there might be ads on these songs, but that's part of it. If that happens. I know. That feels like a commentary. <laughs> yes, that was the idea. Yeah. Well, especially for a band called Royalty Free. And the Queen's so corporate. Exactly. Yes. Mm. She's a corporate entity. So then they're going, now we're corporate. We got ads. And also, no more. Let's smash the freaking palace. And mm. that we get paid for the ads is commentary as well mm. yes. on this system. Mm. So that's good. Yeah, it's good. Oh. You kidding me? Good. So, how much of your money? Exterior, is- surfboard beach. A wave is flying in front of the camera, and then it goes away, and you see the wave smasher. <laughs> ow! 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 Crab! Crab! Ooh, a crab's got my pinky toe! Ow! 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 He's he's coasting on the wave. And he's doing the, he's surfing in a safe way, sitting down on the surfboard. And then the audience goes, no, he's standing up on the surfboard. See you later, crab. Uh, A a rival surfer comes up along his board. Get off, get out of my beach. This is my turf. No one owns the beach. Nature is created by God, and there's only one true God who I call Yahweh. Is it? A, is that a shock? It better not be. Time God f- didn't make sharks. It's the one thing in nature that's unnatural, and I will smash the shark. There's a shark behind you. And, oh, you right. I'm going to fall for that. Oh, I'll just turn around and look at the shark then. Yeah, right. Honestly, there is a shark behind you. You should. Oh, I'm so sure. First, you want me off your beach, right? So that's the big. first thing. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, there's a shark behind you. You better get out of here. So then you are mad your first thing didn't work, and now you're trying something as I know we're enemies on this beach, but I don't want to watch you get eaten by a shark. Okay, yeah, because you want to eat me yourself? No, honestly, please look out. The shark's getting really close Okay, to you. so here's what's going to happen. So I'm going to turn around, but not because you said there's a shark, because I was thinking about turning around anyway. Okay. Oh my god, it's a crocodile! And Oh, that's a crocodile. And the rival surfer wins the surf race that they were having this whole time. And she, he speeds ahead. But I'm then, going so fast. But then, across the finish line, he takes off his surf helmet, and long hair comes flowing out of the helmet, and it's a girl. That's right, I'm a girl. Hey, I was bro. Girl. Bronwyn. Mina? My name's Bronwyn. 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 Mm-hmm. God, Hi. nobody's ever surfed faster than me before. That was a dirty trick, you telling me that that crocodile was a shark. I know, it confused you. You were bamboozled. I sure was. Hey, um, do you want to get a slushy or something? I would love that. Oh, my God. I think that would be really nice. Interior slushy store. Uh, well, the two of them are in a very long line for the slushies. Oh, my God. I've never seen the line this long. So what kind of slushy are you going to get, do you think? Sorry, I'm just going to count how many people in this line because okay. I want to tell my friends later. like, Because I'm like, when you go, it's the longest line I've ever seen at the slushy store. Right. I don't know if they could picture it, but if you actually can see that there's 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, yeah, because they'll place two orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. So and they'll to order together. They'll two. pay once, but they still got to make two slushies. Yeah, and so it's going to still be the same length of time as if it were two individuals. Six people in the slushy line. Okay, I got to text my friend. Yeah. They get to the front of the line. <laughs> I'll have one regular slushy, classic flavor, please. Okay, and I'll have one large regular slushy, original. Could you pay for both of them? Mm, is that an accent I detect? Mm-hmm. I'm, Aust- I'm Australian. That's why I'm such a good surfer. 
No kidding, mate. I'm Australian, Are you Australian too. too. I've been hiding it. Oh my god, we must know so many people in common. Oh yeah, it's um oh, you must know Logan. Yep. Do you know Rogan? Yep, his brother. Do you know Brogan? Yep. His and your it. name's Bronzwee? Yep. That is my name. <laughs> Bronzwee starts e- eating the slushy oh. while it's still too cold. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. She keeps going, though. Oh. Ow. Gone. And whole pieces of oh. ice are, she's swallowing them, and they're oh. going straight into her colon like diamonds. Ow. Oh. Ow. I really do feel like my colon is hardening. Ow! Well, I used to be a surgeon's assistant. Did you? Yeah, you want me to uh, dig in there, cut out whatever's uh, hurting your bum bum? Right here on the slushy, slushy store store floor. Oh, I'd need to sharpen the straw a bit. Right, you're going to use the straw, but I feel confident that you're going to be good at this. The wave smasher lifts the sharp straw. Interior hospital. Sorry about that. <laughs> Guess I made it worse. Bronwyn is unable to respond. <laughs> Bronwyn's, uh, Bronzwee's sister uh, looks at the wave smasher accusingly. Why the, Why did you do that to my sister? I have to tell you why they call me the wave smasher. Okay, why? Uh, for my surfing. Right. So not for your operating skills. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, so why I, did you do the, the operation on my sister? I guess I, I was know. trying to impress her, wasn't I? Right. Because were you involved romantically? Uh, that was the, seemed to be the direction. Because she's married. <sighs> <coughs> I think she's going to, I don't know if she's going to make it. What, uh, are you single? Yeah. Actually, I am. <laughs> Inside Bronzeweed's head. I hope I survive this time. She uh, has is having a dream where she's at uh, Buckethead Palace with her husband, the Queen. I am in love with you. You are my husband. But oh, I wish thank you. you. That's so kind. I wish you didn't have so many duties as a queen. Oh, well, if only someone would smash this oppressive palace. And finally free me to just be a regular citizen. I'm going to try and do that for you. Okay. I love you. Oh, I, um, I think I could see myself falling in love with you. Oh. You know, it's just, I don't throw that word around. Oh. I've been burned before by the king. And, yeah. And Prince Charles comes in wearing a, a, a tutu. <laughs> Ballerina practice. Oh, my, I didn't know this room was occupied. Now, I want to stop this down for a second and just talk about sort of the stuff that we've heard. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I want, uh, Sam, this is, you know, this is your script. You may want to look up. I did say, we did say we wanted some social commentary in this. Mm. There's some, like, Python-esque satire we're getting yes. into near the yes, end here. It's very close with, to that. Charles with stuff? Prince Charles and the really tutu. Good. I I like it. That's the kind of stuff I like. I think it's funny. But for a commercial film. Yes. I worry right. about that. It may be too surreal. Is that the concern? Yes. Yeah, so, well, and so that's why I get why he's having it happen in a dream. Yes. And that makes a little and safer to me. And that gives you me. like a ticket mm-hmm. to being yes. surreal. And everyone gets why. Because it can all be a dream. But so I'm not like liking. Wizard of Oz? It's reminding me of all that jazz. Sure. Mm. Sure. But I'm not liking <laughs> Bronzwe. I'm like losing my connection to Bronzwe if she's having a dream about right. that. Yes. Yes. Uh, Sam, I well, think. Well, once we- she reveals her secret, you guys are going to really enjoy this character. Well, I Give hope it a so. Little more time. Because What's I think we talked about protecting our characters. Is the queen actually her husband? Keep reading. Oh, okay. okay. I'll say yes. Oh, okay. Okay, she is. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the message of the movie. And it. it it says the quote, there's like a quote at the beginning of the movie, like before right. credits, that says queens should be husbands. And it says, for, and it's attributed to it's Sam. It's so confusing. <laughs> it is confusing. It's so confusing. But to me, that it, is the opening image should Sam? set the well, sort of the mission statement say. of the film. Sure. And so if you're trying to make a big social change like that, an idea that's pretty radical, queens that queens should, should be husbands. Be husbands yeah. I think you do need to be that direct. Right. I wish the quote was attributed to, even in a lie, 
Someone other than Sam. That's what I'm more used to is seeing a quote from like but Gandhi yeah. or Martin Luther King, Voltaire. Well, I'm not Voltaire. the one who wrote it. If you say something out loud, that's a quote. That and is no, true. I know. That's I understand true. that now. That's but not like a who also wrote just it. says Sam. Yeah. No last name. So you're like the only Sam. It, it says actually this is Sam. There's this, a dash. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's, that's a note. It says that's a this note is to Sam. Me. I should have said Sam. It's a voice I am. Mail. Yeah. Oh, that's for you. That's a note to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, um, multiple so for people when you're have watching access the movie. to your notes. Yeah. And then when you All leave right. one to yourself, so you, you say this, this is, is Sam. Sam. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Hollywood handbook. Looking for more ways to engage in a little friendly competition? Try capturing some of the greatest warships of World War II and World of Warship. Yeah, the try free to play historical online combat game from War Gaming. Yeah, try it. If should you be have called a ship, World of it. Warship. Because yeah. now should be only one. Now there's only one ship that we have. Because now Hayes and I have to share a ship. Because somebody sank my ship. And they did it, I don't know how, Mm -hmm. with some kind of screw gun or something. In the rudest way possible. In like shooting it like right in the back of your ship. Mm -hmm. Because your ship, of course, is shaped like Opus. And they shot... Missiles into Opus's butt and his butt and made a hole in the middle of so his oil butt. was coming out, it looked like he was pooping, yeah, and not a healthy one. And sank all the way on the bottom. Mm-hmm. And when I get down the little holes in the middle of his butt, what do they spell? Sean stinks. And now Opus is at the bottom of the ocean, so n- and he can't fly up because it, of, of, the famous thing is he's, he can't fly. And he wishes he could. So now, okay, so Hayes is nice enough to let me on his ship, and if you think I'm going to describe his ship, good luck. No way. It's got mm-hmm. Build a Cat on Doesn't it. Doesn't look like Build a Cat. But, thing. yeah, it looked like anything but. <laughs> and we... It's not saying ack. And we... Now I have to share a ship, which it's nice of him to let me on. He shouldn't even have to do that because it's called World of War Ships. So everybody should have one or maybe more. Mm-hmm. But because you guys don't play nice, I know it's got war in it. I know it's called war, but we don't have to shoot everything. And there's no room really for all of our stuff on there now. You could have a war of words. Some of our books are falling off the side of the ship. Oh, and by the way, we have a lot of books. So if you do want to have a war of words, good luck because we're learning Everything on these babies. You get to command a massive naval fleet. That's a lie from the game. It's one ship, ultimately. (laughs) With four classes of ships. Lie. From over eight nations. Lie. Well, somebody's getting to do this. Fighting in strategically designed environments. Every match is a unique experience filled with endless hours of strategy, tactical gameplay, and pulse-pounding naval combat action. In my experience, the gameplay, the endless hours and stuff, the, the, every game lasts one second. And my games are, I'm hiding on Hayes' ship now. Eyes closed, going, please just tell me when it's over. Because what I wanted was, at worst, a ship to pull up alongside me, and we kind of yell at each other. And instead, everyone's freaking shooting. Download World of Warships for free today at commandwarships.com. I guess you hit the command key on your keyboard. Commandwarships.com. So command key, then hit the warships key. Yes. And then I guess the dot com key. And then make sure you enter the code Hollywood18 in all caps when you download to get a, a ton of bonus content courtesy of Hollywood Handbook. Obviously, we support the legal age of consent. Uh, that includes a premium free ship, Aurora, and a pile of in game currency to jumpstart your epic World War II naval experience. <clears throat> yeah, pretty epic. Just download World of Warships at commandwarships.com and start playing today. If and we are play reading nice. a book, if you see us reading a book, go away. Just drive to somebody else. I'm not playing right. I'm not playing. Drive away. I don't want to play I'm not right in now. It. If you're having a snowball fight and I'm not in the fight, don't throw a snowball at me. Okay? I'm okay. Making a and everyone's agreeing. Angel. Okay, we all agree. I did throw a snowball. That was. 10 minutes ago, and now I'm not Now in the we're game. not playing anymore. So thank you. I'm not playing, actually, so you can't even throw one at me. And same for water pistols and World of Warships. Hollywood Handbook. 
Coming Thursday to NBC, it's the outrageous new comedy AP Bio starring Glenn Howard and Patton Oswalt. Howardson plays a disgraced Harvard philosophy professor who finds himself at a Toledo high school teaching good AP school. biology. Harvard, good school. Only he refuses to teach biology. A little unbelievable that he'd be disgraced because it's such a good school that once you go there, you're pretty much set for life, but whatever. He must have done something. He must have um, cheated. Yeah. And cheating's not allowed there. We don't really look kindly on that, me and my cronies. Instead, he uses his students to help him get revenge on his academic rival and not teach biology. The critics are already raving, calling AP Bio laugh out loud funny, and there's no biology teaching in it. Hey, so some people are saying, oh, that's not a very good message, the teacher's not teaching biology. I actually think it's a good thing because not me, but one of my Harvard cronies actually got into AP biology. I didn't because I was already had too big a course load. You placed out. Yeah. And, but he took it. And from what I'm hearing, they're freaking cutting up a freaking frog's guts. You know what I heard? Go ahead. I heard they say, oh, come into this class right. and like learn. Why not? Le- like, we'll teach you education in the class. Great. My brain's a big sponge. And I'd they say, okay, everything. we're opening the door. Come into the class. Yeah. And there's a skeleton in there. <sighs> and they're pointing at it. And going, what's this part called? And it's yeah. like, well, it's all called the Skellington, and it's all not for me. And it's like, and sometimes it's part Skellington, and part you can see the muscle. So it's an even stronger one. And here's what I heard. If you freaking go to f- the final exam, which most people don't, they put only the, like Only like 1% go to the final exam. They put the frog guts on the muscle Skellington and make it come alive. And so it's yeah. a strong frogs yeah. that's pissed off. It got sliced up. I heard that. And they're like, oh, come on in. And like, it's a normal class. And skeleton powers. And now people are going, oh, bad message. He's not teaching bio. Yeah, I think actually it's a good message that we don't do that class anymore where they give powers to a friggin' skeleton and frog. The, and the critics agree with me. Yeah, thanks. And the critics Sean. love that part. From executive producers Seth Myers and Lauren Myers, don't miss the premiere of AP Bio on Thursday on NBC, on the NBC app. Hollywood Handbook. Hey, are you a fan of the podcast Are You Talking are You Two to Me? Then you'll like this better show that me and Sean did. And it's called Are You Talking R.E.M.? R E me. R E me. But ours is spelled differently than a different one. There's there's a different one that's R U talking R E M re me. Ours yes. is R U talking R E M R E me. Yes. And R is A R E. There's I don't know why they're doing it. We've done it. We actually released it. It was really good. I guess these guys, um Scott and Adam Scott Adams. Scott Adams. I guess Scott Adams, Dilbert's they dad. They come together as Scott Adams. They agree with all his politics, mm-hmm. and they want to do a show that he would like. They show you what is 50, and it's them ripped, no shirts. Yes. And they say, sorry, everyone, this is 50. Sorry, mm-hmm. but just deal with it. Mm-hmm. They execute perfect persuasion to try to uh, influence you to vote along the lines that they agree with. Yes. Uh, and I guess there's REM music. Mm-hmm. Uh, ours is just two real best friends who are not uh, in an unfortunate financial handcuff situation where they can't separate but don't really want to be working together. Um, and we are listening and having fun and talking about the truth about what the music sounds like rather than making up, you know, Interesting, And um, our bodies are just as good as Scott Adams, even though we are older. Yeah, and we're much older and we're and it's actually— it's more impressive. And we, don't, and we don't really show it. No, we show a little bit of it. It's just a taste. I will usually just cut a little keyhole out at the center of my shirts so that you can see a peak. And you the, give— Yeah. Some girls mm-hmm. get a key. Mm-hmm. Uh. It's private. It's for me and my lovers. Yes. And it's not necessarily for the public to just horn out on. 
Through an album by album analysis, listen to these friends Ugh. break down everything and nothing about the band. We only do the good songs. Yeah. Listen to episodes of this limited series Wednesdays on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and Earwolf. Well, ours is better because yeah. you have to pay for it, it on Stitcher says Premium. Says nothing about it. Says nothing. More nothing than everything. Whoa. Hollywood handbook. Do we want to jump to a certain scene in this? Which scene? Sure. I would recommend the battle. The battle. Right. Between. I guess, yeah. Okay. The between. battle between. The battle between, within. Yeah. Either one. I see. Mm. Okay. Let's go to the battle. Interior, the comedy store. It's time for a roast battle. <laughs> <laughs> Big J Okerson is on stage moderating the roast battle. All right, everybody. Hey, we've heard some pretty nasty birds, and there's no salve that's going to heal these ones. But uh, next up, we got two newcomers to the stage, and I can't wait to see them just rip into each other with some schoolyard bully insults. And they are not known for pulling their punches. The first guy, he's known as the Wave Smasher, and then his mortal enemy, (laughs) based on some events that have happened over the past week, Bronze we and she's fine now. Yeah. And the wave smasher steps up to the mic and he's holding a beer. Tread lightly, wave smasher. This is a Faustus. Was yeah, that during exactly. the operation or was that after the operation? It's so was there a fire she's in the not, hospital? When she goes to the, yes, because she, she, when she goes to the hospital, she's not burned. She gets burned before the operation and almost immediately <laughs> after. Okay. Okay, like in the hospital mm-hmm. or on the way in or out? There's a, a pre-roast battle in the hospital. Hospital fire leading to her uh-huh. deciding to get and into she a runs out from the, file, okay. from the fire to find a dance battle in the parking lot. Okay. Oh, and but oh, is this, af- this is after mm-hmm. the, the dance battle? The cardboard catches fire. Mm. Oh, okay. So that's why she's so burned. <laughs> in the middle of a big spin? Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. That's brutal. Okay. Um, also, keep in mind, this music is designed to be – you can sing along if you want. It's okay. like when okay, Save I'll Ferris was in 10 Things I Hate About You. can yeah. see the band in the – they're in the shot. Okay. okay. So we that. should sing – we should sing. You can acknowledge them. You cannot – it's mm-hmm. designed to be – They're on stage. Yeah. Royalty free is on stage. In every any time you hear music, they're in the shot. Okay. I love when a cool band is in a movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that was my thought. So – Well, that's all pretty clear. Yeah, well, let's get into uh, hmm. bronze wheat. Now comes in a pocket pack. I can take it anywhere. And this is one of those ads we talked about. This is for Icebreakers yes, Gum, yes. They're really good mm. ads that make the music better. What are we doing? Is he, yeah, are this you, is Will you crazy. look at us? This is insane. We were in love almost. I know, and then you did an operation on me, and I got into a lot of- Well, why the fuck did you eat the slushy like that? Like, you knew was that was hurting. I was trying to impress him. And Royalty and Free- so was I, And so was I. Oh. And, and the band Royalty Free isn't ready to do, like, the the love song yet. Uh, and, so the, and so they say, please start over. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I wait, wait, wait. They, and they have to find the right start one. over with a roast. They, no, start over with the I've love. Got one about the being from down no with under. the love conversation. Royalty <laughs> okay. free says. Why is there an argument in the stage direction? It's something Sam. about like going down under on your dad or something. Right. Sam wrote it. I don't know what it. Okay, so now royalty free is playing the song for the love conversation. Oh, okay. What I, are we doing? What I was trying to impress you. <laughs> That's funny. I was trying to impress you. You were trying to impress me? Yeah, by do, by removing part of your colon with a straw. Do you think you could uh, kiss someone who has burns all over their body and no colon anymore? No, but I think they could kiss me. Oh, I see what you mean. Great, okay. No, I had imagined in this. But they'd have to ask first. Oh, may I kiss Engineer you? Sam enters the oh. scene. Yeah. Uh, hey. Hi. What, what, I just what wanted up? to stop by. I wanted to thank the band. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone, you know, that's been in it. Oh. Uh, I wanted, you know, to thank Buckethead Palace and Yahweh. Um, Good day, mate. So, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Am I queen Australian was or am a, I The queen not? was about to enter. <laughs> oh. Yes. The it's, queen enters for her, her wedding. Her her. It says her gay marriage to Sam. Yeah. 
First, let me make bronze. We what is to will be to my knowledge the first female knight. <laughs> Thank you. This is a true honor. I it literally is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not being sarcastic. No. I'm being okay, very just, genuine. All right. Just Thank you. I the way it's uh, it's your tone or something. Thank you, my lady. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. But can I do the freaking <laughs> thing? You seem sarcastic. Where's now? my sword? <laughs> It's just er, I, uh, Sorry, I've got the sword there, mommy. Oh, and Prince Charles, Charles comes in doing a pirouette. We saw it. Ha! Ha ya! Well, thank you for the sword. I hope I don't chop anything. Little queen joke. I, I dub thee. Uh, so Lady Bronze. Oh, sorry. Ow. Did that get you? Yeah. Did it get you? Yeah. It's a sharp one. Yeah, it's a lot of blood on my shoulder. Okay. And now let's do the marriage. Sam, do you take me to be your friggin' husband? Yes. Yes, father. Yes, you Sam. Welcome. What? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what you guys couldn't see is physically I was doing like a Mr. Bean. Okay. But physically I was doing like so a Mr. Bean. No, I know. That I saw that at the stage where I said that you're doing a Mr. Bean thing. First of all, he doesn't talk. Second of all, the idea is Does that you're that you're marrying the queen and she's your the queen is gonna be your husband and she's your dad. Yeah, yeah queens can be kings. Kings are oh, fathers. Come on. This Sam. is so, this is sort of a play wait. on the John Mayer daughter song. Yes. I, yes. Okay. I, was, I didn't get that. Was, so now I guess when you said, do you get it at the beginning? Now it's kind of all falling into place. It just clicked for me. You, yeah, do you do really it. need to pay attention to that quote at the beginning to truly appreciate the movie. I think. Yeah, I guess so. It does kind of end up coming back a few times. Yeah, it's really a big part of it. Girls become lovers that turn into mothers. So mothers yeah. be good to your daughters too. Right. Daughters are queens and queens can be kings. Fathers are mothers and daughters are yeah, wings. Like, can we do that? Is that allowed? Can Sean s- do that? Can I say or all is those, that a song? Is that a song uh, that I've said all he, the words? If he can do it over a beat, I don't have a problem with it. Well, somebody would have to drop the beat. Okay. John here Mayer we. featuring Michelle Branch. So, here we go. Gonna rap it now. Go on. Coming in on the beat and it's now gonna start. Take it down, bring it back around again. Too fast, too fast. Enter Michelle Branch. Hi, how are you? Can't quite find it. <laughs> Where's my end? So that I feel like that was pretty good. That That's allowed. Great. It's allowed because so we do good. that. I love that. I like when Michelle Branch said, "Hi, how are you?" <laughs> No, that's so another. Polite. That's She's another. Like, <laughs> you would think she just want to talk about herself. No, she wants. She's interested in you, and she's such a good singer. She can sing anything. Yeah, and it sounds good. Mm-hmm. And you want to listen to it. Mm-hmm. I want to get back to the script a little bit. Just oh, yeah, Chef yes. Kevin is in it. Okay. That I thought was weird. That Chef Kevin shows up for one second to, to take sa- the arrow to save the wave smasher. Yeah. And that Sam, you are in it. I will say one thing that I thought was nice is Sam thanking everyone. Why? Well, yeah. I, I was trying to do like an. You don't a, see that in movies. Much. SNL. Yes, SNL is the only nice show. Yeah, where it's they literally thank- the only show where they're polite. And can yeah. I notice something about love? Please. That it was one reason that I, I that didn't, didn't love like it? the show, and yeah. I actually hated it. Right. Fair enough. Which was, at the end of the show, it just ends. No one says thank you. To anyone. No one thanks me for watching. No, no one and thanks being anyone the for guy. writing it. No yeah. one thanks you for being the guy. That was very frustrating No on one set. even says goodbye. No one even says goodbye. They just, it just stops. No, it literally just ends. I noticed that was it a very hostile. It was an incredibly hostile environment. I was frankly relieved when 
it was the end. And mm-hmm. it, this is like the Michelle Branch thing, the niceness of that, of yes. actually asking how <laughs> I am mm. in the song. Mm. Love has no interest in anything going on with me. No, they. I know, not a single question asked down the barrel of camera. I would often yes. suggest that. It's and force just, feeding me these stories of these characters just, who I've cut it never out. met. You've never met. You don't know them. They're not interested I in you. I do not know these people. I have no idea who these people Even are. Even me, I was ashamed to be on it because I was going like, everyone's going to be watching me in this hallway. I'm yeah. Fucking, you know, mm-hmm. I'm this cool stranger with a little swagger, not in the final edit, but. Yeah. And, and. I'm not asking them what's going on. How was your day? I know, yes. Like, you are came you across as very rude? New? I know, I know, but I, you know, that's the job sometimes. Yeah. But I did not feel good about it, and I'm going to probably start only taking acting jobs where I can be very polite. And if you see me in less stuff, that's why. Oh, that explains it. Yes. Because I have been looking out for you and stuff lately, and not you are not much. in yeah. anything. Because I have to be true to my principles. And I think financially, am I taking a hit? Yeah. It would make sense if in, the, if in the credits what the characters' names are and stuff. What's mm-hmm. your guy's name on that? My my guy, my character. Yeah. Bertie. Okay. Yeah. If but, it was like, uh, there's like Claudia is rude Bertie. Exactly. You know? And if yeah. everyone is like rude friend. Yeah. And then you would get it somewhat, but yes. they don't do that. That this show's about rude people. Yeah. It's like Seinfeld. Who deserve each other, frankly. Yeah. And are honestly, watching the show, the only people who could actually like fix each other. Yeah. And then they get fixed by the end. And that's it. Okay. That's a bit of a spoiler because the season hasn't come out yet, but there is some fixing. Whatever. Well, yeah, fair enough. Is that saxophone? Yeah. I I was – It sounds like Lenny Pickett. I was going to fade in. Just from the – just from like how the saxophone was playing. such an ear for sax tone. I I will – I know who was playing and that is Lenny. (laughs) That's Lenny. Okay. So let's do – let's end the show how we normally do. Mm Mm-hmm. I want to thank Sean and I want to thank Hayes. And Bobby Moynihan. And, and um, thanks for watching, everybody. Royalty it's free. been such a great week. And I'm hugging, I'm, I'm hugging Alex, the new guy. And he's patting him on the back. Yes, and I'm giving him a little attention. I'm like showing, like, he did not get in the show. Yeah, but I'm like, mouthing, hi, mom. Like, ve- like in the front, just like, like waving. Yeah. And now I'm jumping on your shoulders, like, ah! I'm, yeah. I'm breaking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm la- I'm whispering something to someone, and then we're both laughing. Yeah, and I'm consoling Bobby Moynihan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and- he's toweling off. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't in the show tonight. No, he's not in the show ever. He never no. is in the show. It just happens, you know? Yeah, he was just there, mm-hmm. I think. I thank Adam Sachs. Okay. What for? Just everything he did here. Okay. And now I'm stealing the guitar from one of the strokes and I'm pretending I'm playing on it and they're kind of laughing, but they're kind of nervous. And I'm talking to one of the strokes for the first time all week. Uh, And I'm like, hey, that was me. Yeah. That was great. I loved what you, like you can tell I'm saying I loved your The first two albums, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that ends quick. Yeah, that was too quick. Usually it's a lot longer. Yeah. So what are uh, you going to do Okay. No, sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, today. Today, I'm gonna be focusing on sports. No, you won't. Sean, oh, I, just, I mean, and, I do love it. See, but it's, isn't it bad? It is. I mean, it's like I really feel like I'm getting ribbed. <laughs> It's so cheeky. And I felt safe the whole – like he just waited until I wasn't worried anymore and I thought I was out of danger. And then Ooh, this me. little stinker gets in here. He, Yeah, you are the Whoops. cheekiest man I've ever met. Oopsies. Cheeky man in recording studio. The cheeky man. Yeah. Da cheeky man? Yeah. The yeah, cheeky man. The cheeky mm-hmm. man. It's mm-hmm. all one word. Mm. Every other letter is capitalized. Except for... No, I'm saying every other... Let me see how to articulate this for Claudia. <laughs> <sighs> the D is capitalized. The A is lowercase. The C is capitalized. The H is lowercase. Oh, the E is capitalized. The E is lowercase. Thank you. I get it now. Yeah, if you want to find my SoundCloud, that's the only way. And there are lowercase X's on either side of 
the of the word the cheeky man that are not pronounced right. The Three. cheeky man. And what's on your SoundCloud? Well, it's a lot of sneaky giggles. Oh, my God. Sometimes it is some sort of audio prank where maybe somebody uh, is, like, calling someone and then I sort of sneak in there and I go, like, no. Can I'm- we play just uh, one clip from Sam's SoundCloud. Can you pull it up, Sam? Yeah, sure. Not from Sam's SoundCloud. I mean, it's on Sam's computer, so I guess it technically is And Sam's. I give you permission, but yeah, go ahead. We play so- Sean's song on Sam's... <clears throat> okay. Please, please. How are you? Don't do this. <laughs> okay. Wait, j- wait, Sam, turn that off, and now we'll play the song, the, the, the track from Sean's SoundCloud. Which one should we play? Um, uh... I guess why don't we play the one with the most listens? Okay. Uh, it's called um, uh, Be Home in 15 Minutes. And, and how it's just many a guy calling his mom. Okay. Huh? How many listens has it had? 20 t- 26. 26. Right. Okay. Hey, mom. Hi. So good to hear from you. Uh, I was wondering, I'm out now. Um, I, uh, I brought the oranges. Fantastic. We'll have everything we need to make the marmalade. Is it time? Ta- uh, should I go home? You should come or- straight here, I think. Okay. In how long? In, I think you should get here in 15 minutes. Okay. I'm getting ready to hang up now. I am can't wait to see you. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. So that one... <laughs> I, I don't know why it's the most popular because that one you forgot. There was something about the exchange that was so sweet. I just I, didn't okay. wanna. And I, guess I thought maybe what, that you had messed up the like that your thing wasn't plugged in or something. So maybe you were talking over it. No, but no, they couldn't hear you. No, I wanted. I made the choice because it just I mean, went smoothly. Yeah. I gotta say, what I thought when I started hearing the call initially was that the gentleman was going to say, "I'll be home in about fifteen minutes," and then I was okay. going to say. No, you won't. (laughs) Oh, okay. The track was – because the track was called Be Home in 15 Minutes, uh, that seemed to me more of like that the mom was saying it. And ultimately she did. Mm. Yeah. And I wonder why you listening to the phone call thought that the man was going to say that. Did she say Be Home in 15 Minutes? If we play it back, I don't think she did. Okay. Okay. I guess we could play it back. Let's play it back. Uh, So should I come home? Yeah, or, yeah. try to be home in 15 minutes. Okay, wow, she did say that. It was faster than I remember. I yeah. remembered the guy saying, I guess it was just my memory, saying, like she's saying, yes, I, I, I remember away. her saying, yes, I think you should come straight home. And then the guy said, okay, but how long? Mm. And then she said, I think you should be home in 15 minutes. Yeah. So it doesn't but, really matter. It's a, That's the most popular track on my SoundCloud. I, I mean, maybe it was an odd one for me to pick to play just because I'm not in it. There's no, no cranking. Um, it's no. just the call. no. Yeah. There's no Da Cheeky Man. No, Da Cheeky Man <laughs> doesn't appear in that one. Uh, so it is odd that that's gotten so much buzz for Da Cheeky Man. But it's but got there, so much buzz. There are so, but I think that has led people to a lot of the other tracks, and some of them are really good uh, and have some really devastating pranks. Can that, we hear them at all? Or is, I guess we could. I'll give Sam permission to play another one, sure. Okay, what's that? Like the, the second most popular one, or is there one you have in mind? Yeah, which one? I mean, I have a personal favorite that hasn't gotten a lot of buzz. Okay, that's great. What's that one who's called? Who's on that call? Um, well, the Cheeky Man is in it. Okay. And I should then, hope so. And then, uh, I mean, I hope so. Um and then there's uh, a gentleman and a lady, uh-huh. yeah, uh, and they're having a conversation, and um, they're basically trying to decide where to go for dinner. Okay, well, let's yeah. just hear it. Hey, hi. I think we should have dinner at eight, but I just don't know where we where to go. go if we do it. Yeah. Okay, um, we could go to Chinese. Town. No, you don't. <sighs> what the hell is going on? Who is that? Ah, shit. It's, is it's, there someone with you? No, there's no Damn. one with me. Is there someone with you? you no, I hear. You're a day alone. No, you don't. Ah, no, I nah, hear. Nah, nah, what? No, no, I am. I, now, I am alone. I promise. I'm scared. I'm going to be assaulted because there seems to be someone on the there's line. There's like a delay or something. Is there someone in the room? There's like a delay. I, 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 oh, damn it. Yeah, I shouldn't even put this up on the Cheeky Man SoundCloud. I'm really frightened. Automatically loading onto SoundCloud. 
fuck is that? Just, uh, abort. <laughs> nah, that's up there now. So that one, wow. to me, is interesting because you get a little bit of a window into the process. It was yes. shocking, that one, I thought. Mm-hmm. And that the, that it plays, I guess, onto the into the broadcast when it automatically uploads. Yeah, that's just the way my computer set up. Sam set it up for me, and and basically once I start recording, it's going. That to That explains released why on you had that first call. I don't know with no how to get it cheeky down. man in it. Yes, and that is, yeah, and it doesn't feel good, you know, necessarily that the most popular one is the one that cheeky man's not in. But that, yeah, that must be bad. This one, I think, is an effective prank because the people are even more scared. They're very, mm-hmm. they're very yeah. scared. Yeah. 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 Even though the timing of the cheeky man coming in, <laughs> not ideal. <laughs> uh, Claudia, good yeah. luck with sports. Thank oh my you God, so I much. hope you win. Thank, thank, thank you to, win. to Sam and to everyone for the stuff that happened after we did the thank you the first time, which was a natural mm-hmm. ending, but we did all this other stuff. And thank you for that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Chef Kevin. Uh, thank you to our fans for thank listening. Thank you, Bosch Man. Thanks to the bones. The, I hate the bones. <laughs> bye. Hollywood so don't miss the premiere of the hilarious new breakout comedy AP Bio from executive producer, producers uh, Seth Michaels and Lauren Myers. And uh, one thing – so anyone who heard our last ad knows that we kind of blew the lid off what they're really doing in the real AP Go Bio Go back and classes. listen to the ad. Don't say like – everyone's like, oh, I remember. You don't remember. Go You don't back. remember. We gave you the real details of the fucking straight dope of what they're doing Oh, I'll just there. remember what this is a callback to. No. And I don't need to go research it again. Rewind go and back. listen to the ad because it's very important because what happened is when they heard we were doing that ad, mm-hmm. all the bioscience guys sent one of these friggin' frog skeletons to the yeah. studio with eyes. You know how some of them have empty eye hole? Mm-mm. This one has two big eyes. And can see. Yes. And look at me, right at me, and I know he's thinking, kill Mm -hmm. now. And we pushed it over so it's on its back and it's punching up in the air. Mm -hmm. And I'm not mad at the skeleton because he has no choice. And I distracted him. Who am I mad at? I distracted him for Sean to push. This country's broken education system. Yes. Betsy Devo. Mm -hmm. Whip it into shape. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think you should whip it. AP Bio on Thursday. NBC. NBC. Check out the app. The NBC app.